Shall we do something different on this video? Let's uh, revisit the world of SH Fig Arts. Let's look at the Tony Stark and the Iron Man Mark I suit from SH Fig Arts. Yes, we are going to be playing with some action figures on this uh, on this episode. Hello, folks. Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. We are going to be venturing into the world of SH Fig Arts, the special edition of... Uh, uh, birth of uh, Iron Man, uh, Tony Stark, and the Mark I edition that arrived today. I'm excited for this. I don't go too heavy into SH figures because it's a slippery slope. It really is. These uh, these action figures are pretty pricey, and I'd rather uh, focus my uh, my pennies more on the hot toys. But every now and then, I like to uh, I like to splurge, and uh, I like to see what uh, they're up to. We have the Birth of Iron Man edition, Tony Stark based off his uh, appearance on uh, the first Iron Man movie. Uh, really cool artwork on the box. You uh, comes with some really, really cool accessories on here. And this is, the, we're gonna be unboxing this version uh, first. Then uh, we'll uh, move on to the uh, Mark I suit uh, halfway in the video. I, this is probably my second version of, of Tony Stark. I have the Iron Man 3 version where he's calling on to the Mark 42 suit. Uh, that version came with some really cool accessories and a uh, really, really nifty little head sculpt there. This is jam-packed with some goodies here. You can see there's multiple heads, multiple torso, uh, multiple uh, pairs of hands with gloves, an anvil, uh, I can see a hammer, and a, uh, a, pick a picker, I guess. What is this? What's this? <laughs> Tummy? Got a little tummy there. I guess we're going to be needing that for his conversion. Let's look at uh, Mr. Tony Stark in his suit. Let's see what uh, all this is about. And, uh, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just call it how we see it. Uh, mm, something happened. Uh, something was lost in translation because it's really hard to see a, a Robert Downey Jr.'s uh, image in this. Uh, clearly, you're going to have to... Uh, mask it uh, with his uh, sunglasses and it's a shame though because it to me honestly i really thought they knocked it out of the park with the uh with the mark four suit mark four came with multiple heads and to me that looked like robert downey jr in, in, in the uh, 112 scale version so don't know what happened there don't uh don't know what happened there uh yeah uh so let's go ahead and uh, let's do the uh do a little bit of a test here i don't oops uh peg joint so let's get Let's get that joint back on there. I don't worry about it, SH Fig Arts articulation. They're really known for their articulation. Sometimes uh, they will sacrifice articulation for uh, appearance, look, sculpt type deal. Uh, this is a suit, so certain liberties uh, had to be taken. I, I'm not gonna go too crazy with, with the suit. Again, I'm still I am still distracted with the, uh, the sculpt on this head. But I will say I do like their little uh, ingenuity of the uh, uh, the suit right here in the back where they added that articulated uh, seam in the back where it, you can position him looking up at the sky and you can recreate that look uh, from the Jericho when he's launching off the Jericho missiles. Uh, this is starting to look better. The glasses, this head sculpt has the, uh, the molded glasses onto it and this works. I, I like this head sculpt. This is probably going to be the head sculpt that if I wanted to display Tony Stark in his suit uh, as he's showing off the Jericho missiles, uh, this is definitely the one that I would probably uh, go for. And uh, it looks great. I'm like, okay, cool, all right. So we gotta ditch that other head. As long as he's wearing the glasses and uh, he should have a, he should have a scotch on the rocks. I feel like he should be holding a, a drink, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, after he gets uh, kidnapped, and then uh, he starts to get creative and so forth. And I like this little torso here. Uh, the molded uh, arms, the uh, the gloves, like the little chest on there, and this head sculpt is a lot better than the uh, suit version. So I I'm I'm digging the uh, uh, the the armory version, I guess is what you would want to call it. Is uh, I'm I'm a badass and I'm going to build the Mark uh, Mark One suit. So that head sculpt to me is a little bit better, and uh, I'm probably. When all this uh, all this is said and done, I'm, I'm going to keep them in this in this version. I don't care so much for the suit version, and, and that's really the beauty about this uh, special edition version of, of, of Tony Stark is that uh, you have two choices. 
you can display them in the suit or you can display them as he's building the uh, the Mark One. For me, it's going to be the Mark One. I uh, I like the Mark One. Mark One's always been one of my favorite suits uh, uh, in Marvel Legends, in Hot Toys, and now this version. There he is. He's uh, striking a pose. It looks good. He looks great in this. I, I like it. I really, really do. I like uh, uh, I like the tank top. I like his little arc reactor. Would have been uh, they could have earned extra points though if they would have added some little LED lighting to his uh, chest. That that would have been uh, that would have been kick ass. Would have liked that. Let's uh, let's play around with some of his accessories here. Uh, great work on the anvil. It looks like a, an anvil there. And you get the little uh, pickers, the little nose pickers there. I'm going to call them nose pickers, but that's what you use to uh, to, to quench the uh, helmet as it's uh, you're heating it and you're, uh, you're beating it into shape. And uh, at least they do get you the uh, the Mark I uh, faceplate there. And you can kind of do a little bit of role playing there. You can pretend you're Tony Stark. Ain't no shame in that. Ain't no shame. I like that. I do. I like uh, how the little picker there is holding the... Uh, the helmet and we got the little hammer there got that and then uh did i mention you know i forgot to mention too that uh, you also get the little uh cell phone so if you want tony uh in the suit to hold a little, little baby little cell phone there you could don't care for the cell phone again i'm probably gonna have him permanently displayed in the uh in the army version this version is pierre's probably going to be the winner i i think this is the uh I think this version here, this look, display, everything is going to seal the, uh, it's going to seal the deal. Yeah, it's badass. I like it. Like it. I even like the head sculpt. Like I said, I don't know what happened to that first head sculpt. Maybe I got a, a, a bad batch, or, or it could have just been shortcuts. To, to be honest with you, I don't know. You know, but um, I'm happy with this version. I like the anvil. I like the little uh, hammer, the plate. It works. And, all right, let's get to uh, let's get to the uh, the main main course here, the Iron Man Mark One. Ooh, I I I love Iron Man. You guys know I love Iron Man, and uh, I get I I always get blown away and I always get excited when I get a new version. Uh, when SH Figure Arts decides to uh, release uh, one of the original Core Seven suits, love the packaging, little holographic seal. Uh, cool little artwork in the back birth of a nation iron man edition love it love it uh can't wait till the hot toys releases their uh, 2.0 or 3.0 mark on suit i can't, I can't wait for that. anyway this is not about hot toys this is about sh figure arts uh tons of instructions here i should take the time and, and read all this but uh i'm not because i just want to pull it out and i ooh, and, and just play with it it's a really cool action figure not gonna lie to you, the paint application on this is 100% top notch and then some. This thing looks like it's a little miniature diecast action figure, and this is 100% pure plastic. Uh, they should get the Medal of Honor for the paint application that they did to this, because this just looks incredible. Holy smack. I mean, really, look at this thing. This thing is pretty. Uh, limited articulation, but again, it's the Mark I. Mark I really wasn't designed for combat, and I was designed to get Tony Stark out of that cave and uh, kick ass. That's that's it. So uh, the clunkiness of the suit is 100% transferred to this to this action figure. Let's uh, play around. I I know the helmet pops off. So and that's a that's a really nice thing too. You can you can display. Uh, the Mark One with Tony inside and without, and to create that illusion, all you need are the, uh, the eyes, which I'll, uh, which, uh, I'll uh, install later. Look at the um, look at the little uh, AC generator in the back. The fact uh, the the paint details uh, with the copper tube inside is incredible. Again, they could have earned the extra points. Uh, by adding some LED lighting, but I, I guess that probably would have raised the prices over it. But look at that. Just the attention to detail, the tubing, the the, uh, the different paint applications from the different metal parts because he was scrunching parts in that cave. Uh, this is A+. Plus. This is A+, plus and then some. Uh, this is a really, really nice nice figure. So if you guys love Iron Man as much as I do, and if you love SH Fig Arts and the quality, this is definitely one not to pass. If you... Or on a limited budget and you can only pick one either tony stark 
in the suit or this version, you clearly got to go with the Mark One. I, the the Birth of a Nation Tony Stark, it's nice. Um, they should have, they really should have just sold it as a collector's edition. I don't know why they didn't just include it as a two pack and as a separate two uh, two versions. But I mean, I guess some folks may not want the Mark One, and if they don't want the Mark One in their collection, I think they're crazy. Well, it's just plain and simple. If you are collecting the original Core 7, this is mandatory. This is a, a look at this. This is incredible. This is an incredible action figure. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Like it. Uh, they did include... I want to get the yellow helmet there because I want to show you what it looks like uh, with, the, uh, with the creepy little eyes attached there. I did read the instructions. I didn't want to break this thing. It, it pops in right there. Look at these little eyes. Look at that. Creepy little beady little eyes. That's that's Tony. Hello, Tony. All right, let's put him inside. It takes it takes a, f uh, a few seconds. You don't want to scratch him. And, uh, there's a little bit of finesse. It's a little bit tricky, but uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm not, I'm not taking these eyes out. It was a little bit challenging to put those things in there and get that helmet to snap on. So it's staying there. And... Uh, it, it works. The illusion does work. It does look like he's inside the suit. So, very nice. They do include the animated fire effects. Uh, most of you who follow me know I'm not really big on the animated fire effects in 1-6 scale, but I don't mind them in the one twelve scale. It's a, To me, it's it's, a, it's an action figure uh, that should be played with. Look at the design on this thing. You see those little two clips on there, a little two slip on the little fire, fire effect on there, and uh, it's sturdy. I like that it uh, it's kept on with uh, with tension. It's not loose. Uh, it looks good. It looks really really good with the uh, with the fire effect as he's uh, shooting it, shooting the flames to the ground. So I, I to me this is this is a um, a really really cool look. I I will swap out. You do get an extra pair of hands. I will swap out those hands. I don't like the this. I, I'm gonna have to figure that out. You do you get the the launch blast effect? As Tony is escaping the cave, and you got the little uh, thruster fire effect mounts, which is easy. It, yeah, he just it doesn't clip on. It doesn't. Uh, there's no tension. It's just he just stands on it. That's that's all it is. And uh, I really should take the uh, fire effects from the arms to to get it. But uh, again, if you are creative with lighting, and if you're creative with exposure, these fire effects. My God, will blow you away. As an actor, I mean, look at this. This is the SH Trade Arts Mark One, and uh, just playing around with some exposure and exposing some light in underneath, you can get some really, really cool photos out of this thing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Love the uh, Mark One. All right, little guy. Let's get you into the uh, SH Trade Arts Hall of Armor. Now, before I get criticized, all right, this is all. This is a six chamber. Hall of Armor, and it is mix and match. This is not all SH Fig Arts characters. That, uh, that is not an SH Fig Arts um, Iron Man Mark Seven. That is a Comic Cave uh, Mark, Mark Seven. Uh, the Mark Six is SH Fig Arts. The Mark Five is SH Fig Arts. The Mark Four is SH Fig Arts, and then the Mark Two is Figma. I think that's not SH Fig Arts. I, the only one I'm missing is the uh, Mark III, and uh, I'm, I'm, it's it's on my to-do list. <laughs> I, I keep meaning it's like it's not that I just I keep forgetting. I'm just I'm swamped with other pre-orders, and uh, I need to get the seven chambers, and I do need a Mark Mark III. But otherwise, it they you know it's the original Core Seven. I'm not gonna go crazy with the SH Figures Iron Man, and. Uh, they, it looks good. It works. Let me know in the uh, comments what you guys think. Uh, always enjoy uh, your company. Like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Thank you.